الرحمن الرحيم in this short video i am going to discuss a problem based on second order non homogeneous ordinary differential equation relevant with bsc uh, mathematics or differential equation course so let's move to our uh, second order non homogeneous ordinary differential equation let's i discuss a uh, to the example d square plus y into 4 is equal to cos of 2x Remember, the differential equation will be homogeneous if the right-hand side of the differential equation is zero, and the differential equation will be non-homogeneous if the right-hand side has a term, has a term or many term. So over here we have one term cos of two x. It means this is non-homogeneous differential equation. So move to solution. The complete solution to this type of second order or first order non-homogeneous differential equation is actually equal to the complete solution is y is equal to complementary function. Plus particular integral. So first we will find the complementary function, then we will find the particular integral. So in complementary function, this is actually equal to the auxiliary equation. Which is equal to the coefficient of y. Over here the coefficient of y is d square plus 4. So it means our complementary function is d square plus 4. Now, for finding this unknown d, we will make complementary function our auxiliary equation is equal to zero. So, by putting auxiliary equation is equal to zero, it becomes d square plus four. Now, from over here, I get d square is equal to four. So, the required value of d is a plus minus of two iota, which can be written in the form of complex number zero plus minus of two iota. How can we find out the complementary function to this type of roots when the roots are complex? So. So in this uh, case, so the complementary function is equal to e power alpha x so and uh, into c1 cos of uh, beta x so and plus of c2 sine beta x so. So this is the formula when the roots are have, when we have a complex roots generated. So when the roots are complex, so alpha is actually the real roots, which is zero. So zero into x so it gives us zero. E power zero gives us one. C1 is actually the arbitrary constant cos of beta. Beta is actually this imaginary root, which is 2. So it becomes cos of 2x and plus of C2 is another arbitrary constant. So it becomes sine beta. Beta is actually 2, so 2x. So. so this is actually the required complementary function. Now finding the particular integral. What is particular integral? Particular integral is actually equal to the right-hand side of the non-homogeneous differential equation, which is cos of 2x so, divided by a of b. A of b is actually the function. It's a coefficient of y, which is d square plus 4 in this case. So d square plus 4. How can we find the particular integral? Remember, over here the coefficient of x is 2. So we will putting the square of 2. Square of 2 gives us 4 with a negative sign in place of d square. So by putting minus 4 over here, 2 square gives us 4, and with a negative sign, by putting minus 4 over here, it becomes cos of 2x divided by d square is minus 4, so minus 4 plus 4 gives us. Uh, cos of 2x so by 0. So in this case, it is undefined. So what can we do now? In these type of cases, when infinity comes out, we will taking the derivative of the denominator. So it becomes cos of 2x. So derivative of this case is 2d. Derivative of 4 is 0 because it is a constant. And also remember, we will multiply it by an extra x. So so in this case, particular integral will be x by 2 into 1 over capital D. Cos of 2x. So this d is actually the derivative, but in this case it is in the division. So when this d is in the division ln, it means we will integrate the given function. So integrating this function, so it becomes x by 2 into integration of cos of 2x is sine 2x divided by 2. So this is actually 1 over e cos 2x. So further it becomes x sine 2x divided by 4. This is actually the required particular integral. So the required complete solution to this homogeneous non-homogeneous differential equation will be y is equal to complementary function, which is c1 cos 2x plus c2 sine 2x and plus particular integral which is x sine 2x divided by 4. So this is actually the required solution.